All right, guys, we're here with the Hunter Boards team at EastgateCon 2022. Why don't you guys introduce yourself? I'm Miguel. I'm João. And I'm Pedro. Nice to meet all of you guys. So we're here to talk about your guys' board a little bit, and uh, I've got some technical questions for Miguel. And uh, we'll just get started with a little bit of info about the company. So how did Hunter Boards form? What are you guys about? Uh, so at the time I was doing, uh, I, I built racing motorcycles. At the time I was doing uh, an electric motorcycle. Very cool. Um, and they had to test at a smaller scale all the electronics. So I, because I like skateboards, I decided yeah, to build my cool. own. Uh, I got a bit carried away <laughs> uh, with the suspension system, with the aluminum deck, with everything. And uh, I decided to invite Pedro okay, to to work uh, that is over in yeah. Portugal, okay. getting the manufacturing going on. Yeah. Um, and we built this and decided to sell this. Yeah. Awesome, cool. So there's a lot of awesome technical aspects about this board. You have very interesting truck design. You got like fully custom hub motors and uh, why don't we start with the uh, most obvious thing which is the aluminum deck so yeah. why don't you tell me a little bit about the deck and like why you decided to go with aluminum uh, instead of more basically uh, I love aluminum uh, especially the 775 yeah. uh, okay. and the T6 uh, yeah. alloy okay. because uh, it has one of the best uh, specific uh, strengthness which yeah. is strength strength divided by the weight yeah. or the, the density okay. uh, so you can build really light products. Okay. This, 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 this deck is one millimeter thick for you. This old part is one millimeter thick. Wow, that's and very it, thin. Yeah, and you can jump on it. I'm going to show you. You can sure. jump on it. It doesn't, it doesn't flex even. All, yeah, all no the problem. pricing parts are, are on the suspension system. So, as you can see, again, Suspension system, and this this basically increases the, the stability while riding. Right. Also, just just the front wheel turn again for improved stability. Yeah, that's very unique for a skateboard. Yeah. Most of the time, all four of them turn. So yeah, actually, this this was an accident. Oh. Yeah, we, we were testing the the motors. Yeah. And the, the, the steering system at the back was broken. And we decided, to, what the hell? Let's just fix it up. Yeah. It won't turn at the back, but we'll still test the motors. Okay. And it was much more stable. So we decided to go this way. Um, yeah, I can talk a bit about the motors. All right, so for the Hunter board, you guys have fully custom hub motors, is that right? It's not really a motor, it's more a mix between up and direct drive. Okay. Basically, you can see there, there's a space between the, the wheel and the, and the motor. Right. Um, with Venturi effect, the, the arc is sucked in and, and get, gets out on the other side. Okay. So, so basically, it's all the benefits of a, a direct drive motor without it being exposed to the ground. That's cool, so that improves the cooling a lot? Yeah, yeah. We, we tried the motors first, but they overheated a lot. Okay, yeah, one of the problems with hub motors is that the urethane is right on the outside of the, uh, yeah. the metal, so it yeah. just keeps on heating. Yeah, yeah. So what kind of compound do you have on there? Is it rubber uh, or is it urethane? It's polyurethane, made by us. Okay. We can, uh, it's, it's uh, smooth on polyurethane. Okay. We tested a bunch of them, and this is oh, what gave oh, us the best oh, rebound, wow. which, which affects hey, uh, the range a lot. Uh, okay, that was awesome. Yeah, yeah. Four o'clock, that's in 20 minutes. Um, so if you haven't gotten that little pass out of your bag and got your free raffle tickets to put them in here yet, uh, let me think. We were saying the polyurethane. Yeah, so the polyurethane you guys make in house. Yeah, we have to make it in house because we are, we're having a lot of problems with the range. Uh, it turns out the rebound of the, the polyurethane affects a lot the range. Okay. So basically, uh, before we did this and we use uh, smooth on uh, polyurethane, which is well known. Yeah. Uh, we we're having half of the range just because of the polyurethane. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. A lot of people think. Well, a lot of people don't really know exactly what affects range in a wheel, and yeah. I guess that's a really important Basically thing to Basically, what, what I found out is that uh, the a series is, that is a, a, an effect that is depending on the rebounding of the of the polyurethane. Yeah. Uh, it's the main factor for, uh, main factor for it to lose uh, the power while ro rolling. Okay, interesting. Okay, well, the you have a very cool motor there. They are censored, correct? Yeah, yeah, all censored, yeah. Okay, yeah. so all censored, yeah. that was really nice. Cool, okay, let's move on to the trucks. You guys have some very interesting trucks here. And it looks to me like the rear truck is actually different than the front truck. Yeah, because the rear doesn't turn. Right. The more complex system is at the front. 
So in the rear we've got quite a complicated set of linkages here. And your suspension is independent, right? Yeah, basically uh, to, to tackle the, the problems with, uh, with wobbles, our suspension, our vertical movement of the wheel is completely independent from the, the steering movement. That means that if you pass through a bump, the skate won't turn like an normal skateboard does. That right. creates a lot of speed wobbles. So like if you hit a pothole going like 25 miles an hour... Yeah, it, it won't turn. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's very amazing. cool. But it doesn't have to be a pothole. Something, sometimes when you are going fast in, in a normal uh, truck skateboard, a, a little uh, uh, deformation on the, on the road is enough for you to turn oh, and yeah, lose control. I'm aware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've felt them before. Yeah. Fortunately, I haven't fallen to them, but I know what you're talking about. And this one, the vertical movement of the wheel is completely independent from the turning. Okay, so on the turning system up here, you have on this design, you have normal urethane uh, bushings, correct? Yeah, we are actually changing the design and sending this design, this new design to all our uh, current customers. Uh -huh. And this new design will allow for you to turn double as this one. Double? Wow. Yeah, yeah. And because we, we, had a, we have a lot of, of things to play in here, we can make it steeper at the beginning for you to get to cruise at high speeds. Yeah. Then, then softer in the middle and even softer at the end. So how does that work? It looks like you have a metal plate that's attached to like a swing arm or something here yeah. and then it, it just basically, presses into Basically, it. I don't know if I have force to do that, but you can, you want to film it? Sure. It basically goes like this. Okay? Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. So since you have such a, a big piece of urethane on there, does it uh, to make a bigger difference on like how hard it is, on how it'll affect like the turning performance? No, it's much better than this one. Okay. And, and that's what I was saying. Because you have a lot of space, you can tune different sections of the polyurethane to right. have different uh, reactions. Yeah, okay. That's cool. So, let's see, what's next? Uh, so we have... One thing I would like to say is that because sure. this is like a big heat sink. It's a what? A big heat sink. Everything oh, okay, is made yeah. from aluminium. Right. So the batteries don't heat up. The, the motor control doesn't heat up as well. Yeah. So one thing I noticed earlier, so, uh, one of the unique things about the Hunter board is you have a removable battery, of course. Yeah. Um, when I picked it up earlier, it was very hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can yeah, tell yeah. that the heat sink is really yeah. doing yeah, some work on it. Yeah, but you want to, uh, yeah, they, they want to come out of the, exactly. <laughs> of the battery. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I see. Yeah, to show, oh, the removing uh, of the battery. Is the, sure. The, 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 the remote is the tool to remove these screws. The remote is the tool to remove these screws. So, you, you, you put it here. You put, you push with your fingers down. Oh, that's cool. And then it's out. And it's all made of aluminium too. Right. That's so cool. It's really nice machining on there too. It's and all you... cut up because it, this is our test board. Yeah, of course. It's already in That's to, to be time. expected. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the Hunter board has a very unique remote. You guys will probably have not seen a remote like this before. It is made of what material? Aluminium as well. Yeah. Okay, so it's full Everything. aluminum remote and uh, aluminum throttle wheel or is that rubber no, on there? Plastic. Okay, so plastic. <laughs> That makes sense. Okay, cool. So it's very square. Did you guys pick the square design for any particular reason, or I like minimalistic things. Okay, as you can see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. So you have it's a thumb wheel remote. Yeah, and uh, you can basically program uh, the best settings from the remote. Oh, really? You can uh, not every setting, but. You have a custom setting menu where you can choose max power, max brake power, uh, throttle curve, and brake curve. So do you have a custom vest then? No, it's uh, the, vest, the vest from Splitsky. Okay, so uh, how are you passing through uh, the information? Is it through UART? Uh, we, yeah, we have uh, UART. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. We built our... Uh, 
That's really cool. There's not. There's only like one or two other remotes that are able to program. And one of them is the Eovan one. Have you heard of Eovan? No. They're a big Chinese brand, but um, they have a custom vest, which is why they're able to do that. But that's cool. You're able to do it with a normal. Our one. next step is to is to to increase even the, the possibility for you to program on this. That's really cool. Like maximum speed, things like that. And so you also, I think this has magnetic charging, right? Yeah, but this is just a magnetic plug. It actually it has a USB, micro USB on the back inside. So if you lose the plug, you just take these off. Oh, yeah. well, that's a good backup plan. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, I really appreciate you spending your time with me and uh, answering my questions. Thank you, Miguel. I appreciate the interview. And uh, I will see you guys on the socials and maybe we can get a board on the channel in the future. I'll talk to Pedro about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, man.